Hi guys, welcome back to another day of Vlogmas. Before I start, I want to remind you guys that I'm doing 25 days of giveaway. I'm giving away $100 every day for 25 days. Today's giveaway is hosted on Twitter, so head over there to see what you have to do to win $100. Today's video is going to be a gift guide for the foodie in your life. I'm going to be breaking this down into four into four. I'm going to be breaking this down into four categories. First, I'm going to be giving the kitchen essentials and then kitchen machines, then cookbook recommendations, and then brands like snack brands that I'm a fan of. Number one on my kitchen essentials list is a chef's knife. Invest in a chef's knife for yourself. Make sure that the sizing fits you. Some chef's knives that are my favorite would have to be the Misen Chef Knife. I will link everything down below. The Misen Chef's Knife uh, Knives Collection from Dell Strong is really good and affordable. And then the most affordable ones would have to be those Kiwi Knives from the Asian store because they last so long. They stay super sharp. It's very user friendly. Next would have to be pot and pans, of course. I feel like if you just invest in one to three really good pots and pans, you be set. My favorite right now would be this brand called Our Place. It's called the Always Pan and it's designed to be used in almost all of like all of the kitchen situations. You can boil pasta, you can sear, you can steam dumplings. It's a really cool pan and I feel like if you have a foodie in your life, Getting them this pan would definitely feel like Christmas. Then another good pan that I feel like every foodie needs in their life is a cast iron. It's kind of tricky to take care of it and to clean it properly, but it seriously makes the food really delicious. And I feel like it's worth it if you give it to them and then they can just invest a little bit of time and effort to research how to take care of a cast iron and they would be good. And if you tell me that I can just keep three pans, I would have to pick my always pan, my cast iron, and my, um, just like my stock pot. Um, and I would be good to go. Okay, so next item. A lot of people don't really think that this is needed, but thermometers. Once you have a thermometer in your life, you will be more confident in your cooking for sure. Um, I feel like you should have a couple types of thermometers in your kitchen. I have an electronic one. It's just really easy to do. I don't really, I don't need to calibrate it. Um, I just turn it on and then it goes. But then another thermometer that I feel like is really helpful would be an oven thermometer because you'll know exactly what temperature your oven is because some oven run cold, some oven run really warm. And then mixing bowls i know mixing bowls this list is kind of basic but i look at it from my point of view and i am picking um some of the most helpful things in the kitchen for me and i feel like it would help your cooking process be faster and easier and much uh more efficient and clean so yes mixing bowls because it's lightweight and it's very easy to clean i have to use my good bowls for mixing i think getting different sizes of mixing bowls would really help did a lot of baking in the beginning of vlogmas and i always tell you guys to mise everything out before you start cooking because it's it's just a more efficient process and having mixing bowls and mise bowls um, would just help with the process of um, getting everything ready and measured out. Speaking of measured out, the next item on the list is a scale. I think having a scale in your kitchen is just so helpful because you can be exact when you're following recipes, you don't have to eyeball it, you can be more confident in what you're doing because you're getting exactly what's stated in the recipes that you might be following with baking because a lot of times baking recipes include grams maybe you need help distributing meat or whatever it is having a scale in your kitchen is just very very helpful next up on my basic as list is measuring spoons and measuring cups it's so important to have measuring spoons and measuring cups because they are not the same okay speaking of measuring cups there are two different types of measuring cups let me show you guys the difference so this is the type of measuring cup that i use for liquids when i'm pouring milk water sauces anything 
And then this is the type of measuring cups that I use for dry ingredients like flour, sugar, rice, anything that's dry and I need a cup or two cups or three cups of it, I would use these cups. And then the last thing on my kitchen essentials list is kitchen towels. It helps you work faster, it helps you work uh, cleaner, and it always helps to just have a towel on hand just in case you need to grab something hot, in case you need to wipe off something really quick, in case something spills and you need to um, like, and you need to clean it up real quick. So that is the end of my kitchen essentials. Now let's move on to kitchen machines. The first machine on my list would have to be an electric hand mixer. I personally like the process of just hand whipping. I'm just, I just enjoy the process, but definitely get a hand mixer for somebody. They will love you. A stand mixer. Oh my gosh. Yes. So I'm going to be linking everything down below because I found a stand mixer that's a little bit cheaper than the KitchenAid and it feels like around the same quality. So I'm going to link it down below. But yes, a stand mixer is a game changer. This next item is called the Ninja Foodie. So I personally have not used it, but you guys can see it right there. Um, Rick uses it a lot. The reason why we got it was because my manager loves his Ninja Foodie and he posts about it every single day and his post has just like convinced us and every time we see him or talk to him, he talks about new recipes that he's doing and it's just like really exciting. This machine just kind of takes away like the the complications of cooking overall. They have a whole like guided uh, booklet fooled with recipes that are super easy and compatible with the machine. The machine really does make it that much easier for um, beginner cooks to really uh, play around with their flavors and really get comfortable with cooking with that machine. So it's a really cool machine. Another thing that I would suggest you to get is an electric kettle. An electronic kettle just works like magic. Hot boiling water in an instant. Mine's always plugged in on that corner over there. This is mine right there. Um, and I think it's a really cool and cute look. Um, I love the gooseneck, so if you guys are interested in that, it's, it will also be linked down below. Electric tea kettle all day, every day. And then a dehydrator. This is a great gift because they can dry their herbs to make tea. They can dry their herbs to make seasoning. They can dry fruits to make healthy snacks. It's a really, really cool gift. I personally don't even have a dehydrator myself, but I would love to get one. So that's why it's on my list. That was it for the kitchen machines. The next category is cookbook recommendations. Once I started to really dive into the culinary world, one thing that really helped me immerse myself and really see different point of views is to look into different cookbooks. This is in no particular order, but the first book is called Eat Real Vietnamese Food. And this one is chocked full of just OG Vietnamese recipes. The pictures in it are very nostalgic. And there were some dishes that were so authentic and original that I haven't even heard about. But it's really cool to just see and learn all the variety of different Vietnamese recipes. And this is the book where I get a lot of my inspiration from um, to make my own recipes. The next book is called The Science of Cooking. Oh my goodness. I recently just got this book, but it just has chock full of information about everything that you need to know about cooking. It breaks down food and it breaks down the cooking process for you and it just explains so many things. It like explains the color of your meat and what it means when it's this color, how old it was. All sorts of information that is just mind-blowing and I feel like this book just gives and gives and gives endless amounts of answers to literally everything like how can I cook my rice perfectly um, why does my rice get mushy like it just gives you so much information and answers and it's like it is honestly my holy grail right now and then the next one would have to be cravings um, either the first one or the second one both are out of this world these are really really good recipes it's just really cool to see somebody just being really 
proud of their authentic flavors and really putting it out there into um, her huge audience is definitely something that I look up to. So both of her cookbooks are really, really good. Her recipes are surprisingly really easy, but delicious. And that is definitely up my alley. The next book is called Salt, Fat, Acid, and Heat. I just think that this is a really cool book for you to learn more about flavors, learn more about the process of cooking, how to basically get comfortable with food. I feel like the overarching theme of this episode is just, tools and guides to help you be more comfortable and at ease in the kitchen. I just feel like that's the overall goal here because a lot of people aren't comfortable in the kitchen. Yeah, these are very, these are all very helpful. And then the last book is called Kitchen Confidential. Now this is by Anthony Bourdain. He is a huge inspiration for me. He's one of the first few people that really helped me connect with my own roots through his show because he went to Vietnam, he would eat Vietnamese food. The way that he would talk about Vietnamese food was just so comforting and that was the spark that uh, really ignited something in me to to explore this world of food and connect with my culture through it. Just to like, get to know somebody that was such a huge inspiration to me and to know about his insights and uh, his journey, it's just really inspiring. So definitely a book that I recommend. Snacks, my favorite part. Th this is in no particular order, but one brand that I have been obsessed with recently is called Omsum. Now this brand sells starters. So what starters are is basically like little packets just packed full of flavorings and seasonings. This one is the Yuzu Miso Yaki. I actually had this one before. This is a salmon dish. Yeah, so every little packet comes with a recipe card that kind of guides you through the cooking process. It's honestly all very easy. Most of the time it's protein and then you pour this over the top and then it turns into this really, really delicious dish that you would be very impressed with that you made. Next brand on the list would have to be any of the Wukvia uh, soup bases or the Kafina coffee and tea. So this brand is very near and dear to my heart. It's what my mom uses when she makes food. So I feel like I just have seen this brand in my household for the longest time and to have it in my new place by myself, um, just there, just makes me feel like I'm I'm still keeping up I'm still keeping up with the flavors and the tradition. I have a code and if you use that code you'll be supporting me and supporting my channel. The next brand is called Irvin's Salted Egg. This brand started in Singapore. They're known for their salted duck egg fish skins. Recently just launched the salmon skin. This is a US and Canada special, nowhere else. Anything with salted duck egg is delicious, but Irvin's just do it so well. So it's a, an amazing gift. And then the last and final snack would have to be chicken skin. So we all know pork rinds and pork skin. This is chicken skin, literally fried chicken skin. They have different seasonings. They have chili lime, they have buffalo wings, they have salt and vinegar, um, they have barbecue bacon. All of the flavors are out of this world, I promise you. And that is it for my list. I stand by every single recommendation on this list. I don't care if it was basic or boring. I personally think that every single one of these items are helpful to me and helpful in my opinion. So I stand by what I recommended. I hope that it helps you guys out. Make sure to enter the giveaway and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.